Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Federation Nation. I'm Anthony, this is Collectors Entertainment Network, and this week we're going to keep on going with the WWF Wrestling Spotlight Magazines. This week, it's The Undertaker. But before we get into all of that, guys, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please comment down below. Let me know your Undertaker or Wrestling Spotlight memories. Guys, please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well. And go ahead and give this video a like because that helps the channel a lot. Also, I want to see you guys over at the Federation Nation Facebook group and show off your vintage WWF collections. Whether it's Wrestling Spotlight, action figures, board games, posters, whatever it is, I want to see you guys sharing your vintage WWF collections. All right, that's enough of all that. We are at volume 16 of WWF Wrestling Spotlight with The Undertaker. Let's just get into it. All right, guys, WWF Wrestling Spotlight, volume number 16, The Undertaker, Grim Reaper of Wayward Souls, two giant Undertaker posters. Let's get right into it. I got this issue, June 19th, 1992, News Center in the Mall. And you're going to flip for this video, the 1992 Battle of the WWF Superstars. Got to love these Coliseum home video ads and, of course, the actual home videos themselves. All right. Retrospective, The Undertaker, an otherworldly view. He came to the World Wrestling Federation confirming everybody's fears that he indeed was the Grim Reaper. Dun, dun, dun. And there he is. Look, he's with Brother Love for, you know, he for, I don't know, about a cup of coffee. And then he went with Paul Bearer, of course. And there are some other action photos. Him and Tugboat. Look, him and the Hitman. Looks like he's putting Hitman in a bag. Interesting stuff. Him versus the Warrior. Him versus Jimmy Snooker right here. That's his first WrestleMania victory. And, of course, the long streak that he had. Here's some other stuff. He's stopping Jake the Snake from uh, from hitting Macho Man with the chair. Is that what's going on? After Saturday night's main event, Undertaker met Jake Roberts, whom he destroyed at WrestleMania. The Undertaker already turned face at this point? I don't remember. Do you guys remember? When did he first turn face? And here you go. Capture the action with WF Magazine. I didn't think it was this early, but who knows? The story of Ico Pro. Who cares? Remember they used to advertise this all the time on WWF uh, programming? Yeah, who cares? Tales from the Tomb. Some more great Undertaker stuff. There's the Berserker. Was he fighting the Berserker? Because the Berserker was obviously a heel. Maybe Undertaker was a babyface at this point. It seems kind of early from what I remember, but I mean, I totally could be mistaken because it's been 30 years, so who knows? All right, the official WWF World Wrestling Federation 1992 Spring Summer Merchandise Catalog. All right, you got your Hulk Hogan page, cool stuff, backpacks, headbands, the real champion poster, Hulk Hogan t-shirts, wrestling buddies, teddy bears, all sorts of good stuff. Moving on to the Macho Man Randy Savage page. And of course, the Legion of Doom page. Get all your t-shirts and posters for your favorite superstars. Speaking of superstars, here you go. Sid Justice Virgil. Look at that. Oh, and here are the posters. But the posters have never been taken out. And I'm not about to do that. 30 years later, I am keeping them intact. There's a little picture of it. And here, of course, is the order form for... Your merchandise. And there is The Undertaker himself in his t-shirt. Look at that. Posing with his t-shirt. That seems a little out of character. Could have had maybe a model do it or something. But yep. There's The Undertaker in his Undertaker t-shirt. Alright. Kids Corner. Baseball mitts. Uh, championship belts. Hitman. Teddy bears. And Halloween costumes. Gotta, gotta love it all. Do you guys have any of this stuff? Especially those of you who are kids. I was in high school by this point. So I still watch wrestling. And I still got the magazines and all that stuff. But I obviously wasn't buying the kids stuff. Speaking of kids stuff. Here is your uh, 
sort of birthday party set. Now, the birthday party set from like the mid 80s, I that I got. I had a birthday party. I don't think I just bought this stuff because I remember having some of the napkins for like years to come. I think I had the whole birthday party. It was WF theme. I can't think of what year it was. Um, maybe 87. I'm not sure, but they still had like the old um, themed back then. As a matter of fact, I have this like sort of plate that I've never shown before. And this is what the theme was. You guys remember that? This is what the theme was to the old um, birthday party set. And that's the set that I had when I was growing up. But this was the one at this time. And a really cool bedroom set. That would be awesome too. All right. Then we have camp out. You got a Hulk Hogan flashlight, sleeping bag, and a tent. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Winner and still champion, WWF Ice Cream Bars. Oh, the Macho Man Randy Savage. That's a new ice cream bar. And, of course, your cards that came with it. I had a bunch because I used to get these from the ice cream truck all the time. Um, and I had a bunch of the cards. Don't know if I still have them. They could be in a box somewhere. Not exactly sure. Oh, and, of course, the Spotlight Trivia Quiz. What do we got? We got background stuff. A helping hand. Out of the shadows. The gravest challenges, no end of horrors, and tough stuff. And don't forget to send in your tough stuff answers, and they will be revealed in the next issue. Mortal Maneuvers, The Undertaker in the Ring. I guess this is talking about his style in the ring and some of his most favorite moves. And some more. Yeah, there he is against the Hitman. I like to see the that. That's a that's a Undertaker versus Hitman. That's a it's an older match than what I was thinking. Of course, I mean, let's see. At this time, Hitman wasn't like the world champ yet. This was this issue. What did I say? I got it. June of ninety two. So Hitman was not world champ yet. Didn't, that didn't happen until the fall of ninety two. But I guess they had some matches beforehand. All right, Paul Barra, the man at the Undertaker's side. Oh, that's a lovely picture. Yeah, another lovely picture. And why, why is Mr. Fuji there? I wonder what that caption says. What Mr. Fuji has to do with it. All right, the Undertaker and his massive cult following. Maybe that's why he turned face. People really started uh, being Undertaker fans. But not... A very long article. It's the WWF Superstars and 8 Larger Than Life posters. Posters 2. Uh, I have this. I've got posters 1, 2, and 3. All the posters are still intact. I bought them as sort of collector's items. So it wouldn't really be something that you guys would get too much. I might show it on the channel on Federation Nation at some point. But again, the posters are all intact. So you're not going to get to see the posters. And I could just show you the magazines and what they look like, but it wouldn't be too in-depth. All right, that is that. And here we go, WBF Body Stars, a television show that will revolutionize the world of bodybuilding. I've said before, I never paid any attention to the WBF. It was not my thing. But that does it, guys, for Wrestling Spotlight, volume number 16, The Undertaker. All right, guys, that was volume 16 of WWF Wrestling Spotlight, The Undertaker. Guys, again, quickly, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe, please comment, please share, please like this video. All that stuff helps the channel. Plus, I'd love to hear from you and see your reactions to these videos. Guys, also hearing from you, I'd love to see you over at the Federation Nation Facebook group showing off your collections, even if that sometimes means... I think you guys have such cool stuff that you make me spend money because I go on over to eBay and say, I got to have that too. But that's what it's all about. Let's share back and forth. You guys see my collections here on the channel and I will see yours over in the group and we can interact over there. It's awesome. All right. Enough of all that. We've done 16 issues of Wrestling Spotlight. We're going to take a little bit of a break from Wrestling Spotlight. Next week, we'll have a different topic. Not quite sure what it is, but I'm sure it'll be cool. But until then, guys... Have a good one.